What's going on, everybody? This is Lester from Cannabis Wiki. We are here with the North American Cannabis Flower, winner of the 2019 O Cannabis Cannabis Social Influencer of the Year, awarded the best-selling international book, Ignite Your Inner Warrior, with over 2 million Facebook followers and over 130,000 Instagram followers. I give you Jackie Childs. Hey guys. <laughs> and this is the Green Room where we talk to you about cannabis events, conferences, expos, awards, galas, crawls, and all. We educate, inform, and inspire. Thanks for joining us. Damn right. What's going on, people? <laughs> Lots of stuff going on starting November 11th. <laughs> mm. You want to jump into the first one? You want no, to talk to I want you to do it. On? Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Let me get my spectaculars going on here. So guys, um, we're going to keep you informed of what's going on this week in cannabis uh, from November the 11th to the 17th. First event we have is a 2019 Fall Conference Presents Cannabis, Where We Grow. Mm. This is November 11th and the 13th, two days. Day one. No, no 11th, 12th, and 13th. Yes. You just don't want to go on the 13th? Or the 12th? I'm a little sketchy about 13th. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. No, I never interrupt him. So we got day one, uh, November 11th, is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Day two will start from, uh, we got here, 7.45 to 6.30 p.m. And November the 13th is from 7.45 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. This venue is at the BMOIFL in Scarborough, Ontario. And what will be going on here is an informative, intellective days where the current state of the Canadian cannabis industry will be discussed. Balls of fun. <laughs> Sounds like it, right? <laughs> Invited to the exhibitor trade show, job fair, and cocktail reception network event. Uh, so we got some pricing here. Uh, basic member ticket is $995. Yeah. Student ticket is $500. And we have a workshop ticket for $250. Wow, can I read the next one? Mm. Dr. Timothy Fong presents Problem, Gambling, and Cannabis. Mm. What? <laughs> wow. And that's November 12th. From 12 to 2, it's a webinar. And the tickets uh, are general admission, uh, 20 bucks. Where is this? What? It's, a webinar. So that's yeah, that'd be online. Dr. Timothy Fong, Problem, Gambling, and Cannabis. Well, we'll have to see how that one's working out, right? I'll bet you two grams that your weed <laughs> is not. <laughs> but this one uh, is definitely uh, an event. Uh, there's definitely people that may have uh, gambling addictions and use cannabis uh, maybe to avert that gambling issue. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's a good possibility. Sit back, smoke a joint, get it going. It's a cure-all, apparently, right now. <laughs> That's a Dr. Timothy Fong. Something to look forward to. So uh, moving on, we have the future of medical cannabis through research tech and data 2.0. This is again on November the 12th, which is a Tuesday starting at 5.30 p.m. Running until 10, 8, well, 10 p.m. So this is an evening event at the Museum of Contemporary Arts in Toronto, Canada. That's a fun date night. Yeah, it looks, <laughs> looks good, looks good. Experts explore the future of medical cannabis research, pharma, and tech, where uh, they're going to see how uh, the intimate relation between pharma and data has come along in this one year of legalized cannabis in Canada. So the ticket price for this is $85. And we have, what, $45 ticket too also. 55 I got. You got 55 Your notes are so much, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I gotta leave them here. I actually, Clearly, this is Lester's show, <laughs> uh, as it should be up to the up to the minute, up to the times, right? Cannabis Connect: Turning Problems into Opportunities. Tuesday, November twelfth, from nine thirty a.m. till two and at this the is a Woo Conference Center. Yeah, this is a big one. This is uh, the first time that's going on. This is um, some, free. Yeah, it's a free event, and this is in um, Fredericton, New Brunswick. I like free, and I like Fredericton. <laughs> yeah, so it's like uh, they have the provincial cannabis coordinator and representatives from the industry and the academic world, plus the government, for a day of networking and problem solving. So it's a big thing probably for down there, down east. Which right. I haven't been down. Have you ever been down yeah, east? Yeah, yeah. Yep. 
So how is it down there? Are they accepting of cannabis? Yeah, yeah, yes, very much. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I had seafood there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you're supposed to down east. That's the notorious thing to do when you're down east. Lobster, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Tuesday, November 12th, there's also the Arc Biz Breakfast Series, mm -hmm. Navigating the New at Loyalist College. That's Tuesday, November 12th at 8 a.m. Belleville. Um, information to help understand the cannabis regulations in Canada. And tickets are $25. That's an interesting one, too. Help understand the regulations, those ever change. Always, right? It's hard to stay on top of them. That's just like weekly changing. Yeah, Belleville. Check it out, people. That's a $25 event. Mm -hmm. So next we got uh, medical cannabis research, pharma and tech. Where and how are they intimately intertwined? This event will be taking place in Toronto uh, from 5 p.m. to 9.30. Uh, door prize worth $200 provided by Foley Skincare and Wellness Products. That's fun. Mm, not bad. Get a prize at the door. Uh, general admission is $85. Not your granddad's weed. Ooh. November 13th. Um, that's a Wednesday from 7 to 8.30. Aurora Public Library mm -hmm. um, in Aurora, Ontario. And the discussion of various forms of cannabis potential risk. How cannabis has changed from the 60s and 70s. And that's free. Not your granddad's weed. Yeah, and this one actually is going to have uh, some forensic toxicologist, James Whitmore. Uh, this, cool. Yeah, yeah. He's a. My granddad's weed was wacky tobacco. <laughs> right. That's what. That's what. That's what my parents used to call it too. That's a serious thing. Okay, the next one. Go, go, go. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Yeah, we always keep it moving here for these events, guys. Honestly, uh, 2019 PEO Leadership Annual Conference. This is another big uh, show that's going on. This is November 13th and 14th, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, the growth dilemma, the challenges and opportunities that come with the growth in a rapidly changing world. Ticket price for this event, you need to contact 416-637-0299 for tickets and availability, but they do have a little list here. Uh, full conference with hotel, $2,645 plus 13% HST. Uh, they also have full conference, no hotel. Two thousand, yeah, one hundred ninety-five dollars plus uh, thirteen percent HST, and opening night at four hundred seventy-five dollars plus thirteen percent HST. Guys, this is the two thousand nineteen PEO Leadership Annual Conference. Mm. Mm. There you have it. Stoned up comedy at the Hot Box, seven p.m. November fourteenth, which is a Thursday. Everyone loves the Hot Box. Hilarious evening of stoned up comedy, nineteen plus. Um, and there's con. Contact is 647-308-7845. That's Abby Roach's legendary hot box. You hear that? Comedy night at the hot box. Fun, fun. Yeah, that's a good thing. Cannabis and comedy. Who doesn't love that? Right, and you could find that at 204 Augusta Ave in Toronto, Ontario. If you don't know. Now you know. Right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Keeping it moving, let's talk edibles. The facts on edible cannabis. This is uh, November the 14th. This event will take place at 7 p.m. till 8.30. This is a quick one, not too long, at the University of Waterloo School of Pharmacy on 10 Victoria Street. Uh, I think it's 10A Victoria Street South. Uh, this is in Kitchener, Ontario. Uh, public lecture, exploring edible product and what this means to Canadians. Um, was that the Vanessa Payne? Is that the one? <laughs> Contact him. Do you already give the phone number and the name and everything? Yeah, that one's gone. So, oh. <laughs> my edible might have just went. Anyhow, well, that's all right. You got to be medicated, right? You got to be. Medicated. Yes, I am a medical patient. Let's of remind course. our listeners of that. I'm not just, you know, I'm not just out here having all good times. Right. We're here spreading kindness. <laughs> yeah, that's cannabis retail operations and man management workshop, and that's November 14th and November 15th, Friday. Um, so it's Thursday, Friday. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., the Academy of Applied Pharmaceutical Sciences, mm -hmm. and that's North York, Ontario. Um, the workshop will guide you through the process of becoming a cannabis operator, um, license, and store authorization. Oh, that, that's actually really interesting. Yeah. It's $795. Um, oh, and that's the AAPS. I know what that is, Academy, uh, Academy of Applied Pharmaceutical Sciences. Yeah. I just know it as AAPS. That's how they are on social. So. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's actually really cool, and they've got a lot of cool educational stuff. So 
Can I just skip, skip, um, <laughs> can I just go now? Yeah. <laughs> Health and wellness through cannabis I retreat. Um, oh, I think I know this one too. And that's November 15th to 17th at mm-hmm. Sir Sam's Inn Spa Eagle Lake. And um, this is a top four season health resort. And they're having a wellness cannabis retreat. Contact the above number, number for prices and information. And the number is 705-754-2188. Nice. I think I know who this is, but I don't want to say the name just in case it's not, but it looks really, really cool. So check that one out. Excellent. I love it. Guys, uh, for you people out there, you want to get your event on uh, Green Room, you can reach us at sponsors at cannabis.wiki. The phone number is 833-226-9454. Catch us at extension 7. And I promise, if you are a sponsored, I will not moving right along during your ad. <laughs> I'll go slower. <laughs> uh, we always take time with the sponsors, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. Because we definitely want to get their message out. Operational Compliance 101 for Cannabis Cultivators. Um, that's November 15th. Uh, that's a Friday from 4 to 7. Prestige Lakeside Resort. Um, oh, this is in BC. Nelson, BC. Fun. Mm. Let's go to this. It's free. Let's go to BC, Lester. That would be good. <laughs> that would be good. A workshop think... looks deeply at documentation and reporting requirements for licensed cannabis cultivators. I think BC would love it. How do you say that? Cultivators? Yeah, cultivators. Yeah, you got it. You got no problem with that. I got a little sparkle going right now. So it's like, is that a sparkle or is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> It's all good, guys. You got to come tune into the green room. My North American cannabis flower. <laughs> right. Okay, you got, um, you do the next one. Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's too close to home for me. When you know? <laughs> Caregiver, doesn't that mean like I need help? No. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Caregiver event, uh, talk with an addiction counselor. This is on November the 16th, which is a Saturday. This event will start at 9 30 a.m and run till 11 30 a.m so it's a morning event guys so get your early wake on uh ontario shore center for mental health science on 700 gordon street west in whitby ontario free 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 Ooh, we've pumped out a lot of free ones <laughs> yeah eh? there's good. a lot of i mean people say that you know it costs so much to get involved or it costs so much to do this or to take a course or a class there are a ton of free events which is good. This gets the information out there. Mm-hmm. Guys, you got to get out there. You got to get this information into you so that we can all sit at the same table and have the same discussion, even with different opinions. Yes. You know what I mean? I like the different opinions. Yeah. It keeps me on my toes. Exactly. Right? Expands. So here you're going to learn about the services provided by Pinewood Center of Lake Ridge Health, various types of cannabis, uh, medical use, potential effects on mental health. And once again, it's free, 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 free. Crown College certification in certification in quality assurance. Mm-hmm. I think we mentioned this once before. I like quality assurance. When you say that in the cannabis space, Definitely. I think I'd like to be head of quality assurance. I Does think... that just mean I smoke weed all day? I think you'd be a front runner for quality <laughs> assurance because there's a lot that needs to be said for quality assurance. And that's North York and November 7th, Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. Mm-hmm. And it's a 24-hour hybrid course held every Sunday morning in 2019-2020 by Crown College of Canada Corporation. A 24, what? A 20-hour online. Would it be 24-hour? Yeah, 24-hour. Whatever. Follow, it's no, it's a 20-hour online course followed by a four-hour in-class online live webinar with a student. And it's $548.60. That's the Crown College certification in quality assurance. November 17th. That's a big one. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, so that's the it, schooling guys. part of our right <laughs> yeah well we got to get it out there we got to get the news out there we got to get the information we got to let people know what's going on inside the cannabis industry and like we said here at the green room if you want to get your show on here or if you want to be a sponsor of the green room you can reach us at sponsor at cannabis.wiki bonus at 833-226-9454 extension 710 Eventually, we have like a little jingle there, sure. like a little. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I truly love it. I truly love it. Do you want to know how cannabis can help with chronic pain from MS to surgery rehab or arthritis or how cannabis can help with some mental health illnesses like depression, anxiety, insecurity? 
Maybe you just want to know about cannabis itself. Then Cannabis Wiki is a cannabis website that teaches you, guides you, and will provide you the latest cannabis news, showcasing many shows about cooking with cannabis, or an up-close look sitting down with cannabis industry professionals. If you're looking to broaden your cannabis knowledge, please visit cannabis.wiki to learn more. Guys, well, you know, here at the Green Room, we always love to have uh, people from the cannabis industry come sit at our table because if you know my North American cannabis flower, she's constantly welcoming all of you at her table. So this is her space. Our guest today is my favorite guest at my table. Mm. She helps me spread kindness. <laughs> yeah. She reminds me often that my my i'm doing my best when i'm spreading kindness so let's introduce andrea from you bud coo of you bud yes chief operating officer i am i I operate chief (laughs) well you know what and i think you do very well because um as you guys know i'm doing a little thing with uh grow with you bud uh our own grow here at cannabis wiki studio we have some live plants growing um, four legal ladies yeah. too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She started us off with four pucks, but that was to ensure that we got two off. Okay. Perfect. So, um, guys, if you have two check- legal ladies, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you guys got to check into that. Uh, look out for us growing with you, bud. But we got her right here, right now. Thank you for a seat at your table. Aw, anytime. Thanks Always for welcome. coming to the green room. Always welcome. So what's going on? What's going on? You know, I, I, I actually wanted to ask you guys what you thought about something I heard. Uh, a local radio station had like a confessional mm-hmm. where you can win a prize. Okay. And so this gentleman called in and he won some big prize for confessing that 20 something years ago, he stole 25 pounds of weed from someone. What? Okay. So he stole five crops. And so you hear about this, of course. Mm-hmm. Many people we know have had, had, had things stolen this year. Right. And uh, I just think, I wish that he hadn't been celebrated. Mm. But we all know where he was going that night. <laughs> 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 I just, you know, I, I, I think when we, when we talked about entering this space uh, as a company, we thought, awesome. There's, it's, a, it's a kindness and happiness and chill. And then you hear about this. Yes. And it makes me so sad. And, and then on the flip side of that coin, I've, I've spoken to people that did have some of their crops taken this year mm-hmm. and the community rallied and donated uh, tons of stuff, like more and, a, and yet a variety, uh, <laughs> you yeah, know? Right. So right. it, it did restore my faith in, in the cannabis culture, I guess. Uh, I just thought it was a bummer that he won the prize. Oh, he won, he, he won it? He won the won prize. He saying that he stole 20 Because it really was a crappy thing to do. Right. And that's kind of the idea, right? So you let's give in. you a prize. Right? <laughs> Here. But it was 20 years ago. I, it was. Previous. Well, I'm, yeah. that's what he says. Still <laughs> a crime, Lester. I, I understand, but. <laughs> and it's still kind But of sometimes, thing see, the special thing about this table is, uh, and our podcast, um, we weren't who we were yesterday. No. Oh, I love you. Right. <laughs> we were not no and sometimes um, we're growing and we evolving like, right we have to evolve so sometimes you can't hold people for what they do especially if what they're trying to do now is in a better light yeah like maybe that secret caused them a lot of shame and guilt and pain for a long time and now it's legal and it's many years later and mm. he shared it and got it out and now can talk maybe there's people in his family or life that didn't know that mm-hmm. and now they do yeah which is probably a release for him well, I hope so. And yeah. I hope that, you know, he was able to really sponsor She just wished she was around to smoke for. some of it. <laughs> Where was that no. 25 pounds going? No, I was, I was good. <laughs> She's got her own weed. <laughs> even, even 20 years ago, that's just fine. That is crazy. But it's harvest time or well, harvest time's almost over. Yes. Um, and that is happening. It's, uh, I believe there's always yin and yang, mm-hmm. right? So there's the people that put in the hard work to get their crops going, and then there's the people that take advantage of that situation. Yes. 
And I also think it's interesting how since legalization, you're hearing about it more. And I think it's just because mm. people are like, yes, I was growing. Yes. Yeah. I actually was like, can say. you believe so-and-so's got, got their weed stolen? Can you believe so? And Andrew's like, yes, Jackie, this has been going on forever. <laughs> it's legal now, though. So we're hearing about it. Right. But like, did, oh. you, did you hear about the police in London that recovered a crop? Oh, wow. So, what do you mean? So, they gave it so back? Someone came and stole all their equipment and their crop, and, mm. and they, they phoned the police. And the police returned their product. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I like that. I love that's that. A right? yeah, and yeah, that's imagine, a headline. Imagine that's the cool. police vehicle would have smelled delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so when he, but I, I, from the story I heard, he, he had to report how much had been stolen. Mm-hmm. And they, so all these cruisers showed up because of the amount and and it was 100 percent legal mm-hmm. and so he had showed his documentation and then they basically followed the trail of the equipment and returned all the plants that's incredible <laughs> those are things those Yay! are those are stories yeah, yeah you, you, you need to hear more that. of those that's yeah. crazy that is right off the chain it's good yeah. and that's a great story for that police officer to come home and tell yeah. that story like how was your day well <laughs> I'm, I'm just sorry i'm like well oh, are you gonna light up your joint that you um, brought? If you have any fire. We always got fire here. So Lester has fire. He invented it, I think. It's the green room. <laughs> he invented it. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> I don't know. I try and guess his age. He's like older, older, yeah. older. So like, did you invent fire? I know she's dating me. She's dating me. <laughs> Not dating him, guys. Don't spread that one around. No. <laughs> We're talking place of time. Um, what is this? We're smoking. It's lovely. Rolled. Thank you there, Andrea. Yeah, you look like you roll like a champ. Um, gorilla something. Blue. You don't want it. <laughs> Are you waiting for that one? I'm good. Don't, don't share with Lester. He doesn't need it. Lester loves to share. Lester loves to be prepared <laughs> also. So Excuse Lester, me. I smoke before I get on here. Because when I smoke, the only reason why, because I would never say no to Jackie, or I never say no to you. You did. Um, we have it recorded in all yes, over the internet. Yes, right yes, now, we do. So you can say never all you but want. But the only reason why I said no <laughs> is never today. I don't want to be choking on air. Like I am right now. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that's why. That's why we're a partnership here. Right. You'll choke, and I'll take so it over. So today's here. also learning. I will never eat an edible forty-five an hour and a half before mm-hmm. the show again. Why? Because it's really glittery in here. <laughs> Was it tasty? Mm-hmm. That's good. Good. I I love the evolution of edibles. Remember when they were like chewy? And oh, you had to and always stuff weedy and gross and, and yeah. yucky. No, this was delicious. It was like oh, so it, good. it was delicious. This tasted like a lemon candy. So I really liked it, and it was more than ten milligrams. So that would mean it wasn't legal. No, it, it's one hundred percent legal for your friends to make it and share it with you. You didn't pay for it. Exactly. No, I didn't. didn't buy it. Nope. Didn't no, buy it. That, so it I can make and share anything I want. I'm not oh. selling it. I'm not mass producing. So we could have a bunch of edibles yeah. to share at the green room and it's totally legal. Yep. Oh. Yeah. I'm learning so much today. <laughs> well, hey, listen, this, the whole thing about the cannabis industry is about learning. And nobody's really a true, true expert. Everybody has a lot of experience. Some have more than others. Sharing is where we all need to be without the judgment. Right. Absolutely. Because right. I'm green as fuck. <laughs> right? I've been around the product uh, a long time, but it's something that I would never put to the forefront of my life. But even with legalization, I have to work through the stigma, um, as with many people. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you mean with a t- being a tall black man? <laughs> that, that, that is that is on point, and that is something that um, all people who stand out have to deal with uh, with a product that uh, has its own stigma. Mm-hmm. Right. So, it's a good thing. So he says no. I say no. As a he, he, he says not right now. Ah, thank you. <laughs> he says not yeah. right now. That's Andrew being yes. a mom. Right? Not right now yes. is not no. <laughs> well, that's why she's the chief officer. Andrea's heading to, uh, where are you going? Great Wolf Lodge. What's the cannabis rules at Great Wolf Lodge? Our room has a patio. Nice. Oh. And I'm a Canadian citizen, so I have a patio. Yeah. <laughs> Audio. <laughs> yeah, there you, go. Yeah. you know what else is special about today? What? Today, <gasps> I have uh, been with my husband half my life. Oh, yeah. Oh, today. Snap. That's nice. That a, yeah. Yeah. I, I love like that. that guy. That I is, love that guy too. Just love that that guy. That's Mr. Dave. Mr. You, bud. Yes. Dave. 
Yeah. <laughs> we had a chance to interview Dave. Talk with Dave. Dave's He's an cool. awesome guy. He is. He's an awesome guy. He has a great voice. Much like you, Lester. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and he often says, not right now, to me as well. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. See, men that like to master perfection. What? That's what? not where I thought that was. <laughs> 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 um, what's the man's name that's the CEO of Lyft? What's his name? Do you remember? No, can, can our hand. don't we have our don't we have our guy in the room or whatever? Don't we throw it to him and of then he course. throws it back? Of like course. He's... I don't know if he wants to get on there. Can we can we find that out? Is can he, we find out who is he here? He's, he's there. He doesn't show his face, but he's there. So, because I'm going to City Moguls tomorrow in Toronto, and the CEO of Lyft is walking the runway. Run it's Run for Run yeah, Run the Run runway. Run. It's a fashion Canadian fashion and charity event for Covenant House in Toronto. And a couple CEOs within the industry are on. Are involved um, with that? Yeah, yeah. That's huge. That's tomorrow night. I'm pretty excited. That's 600 huge. people sold out event. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's by, put on by, it's called City Moguls. And uh, the CEO of Lyft is one of the moguls. Yeah, I've seen that on your uh, social media. Yeah, it looks, it, it, it's going to be really fun. It's a great, a great event. They have, I think this is the fourth year. So, and then the next night is the Lyft Cannabis Awards. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. I will be walking that red carpet too. Doot, doot. That's why I toot right. my own horn here. Yeah, that's Apparently, it's a hot ticket. It it's a fantastic event to be at. That's so it. where all the big wigs of the industry are going to be. Pretty excited. And me. Yeah, rightfully so. Like I say, yin and yang. There's yeah. always a balance. Right? So I'll invite some interesting characters to the green room. Definitely. Mm, yeah, that'd I, be yeah. awesome. I like I like this because now instead of just like follow me and check me out, I can be like, come to the green room. We'd love to have you at our table. Ah, exactly. So, and that's how you exactly. pitch it. Just like that. We'd love to have you at our table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't wait to hear when you come back how it was. Yeah, I'm excited to actually. I am excited. <sighs> when you do these big events, how long does it take you to get ready? Oh goodness. Like for real. <laughs> for real? For real. Like from 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 getting in the shower you're to getting, it, getting in the car. You're oh, get, you don't. You're getting it now. You don't mean like spray tan, teeth white, no, hair. No. I mean that all goes like two like or three from days. the shower day of. But bum, bum, bum. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. Because I spend mm, ten minutes typically oh, on God. any normal day when I come here and for you, Lister. Oh man, I make Jackie do my makeup, Woo! but on a typical day I do ten minutes. Ponytail, braid, done. Um, um, possibly mascara if I'm feeling crispy. Three hours. Yeah, like three it. hours. It takes a long time to. S I wear yeah. wigs and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. And to set my wig and to. I change my. And on a normal and... everyday day, how long does it take you to get to an hour and fifteen? That's to not bad. pop out the door. Like that's, to come, well, bad. to go anywhere in public. Well, you've seen me in my <laughs> yeah, one day. I steal my, you. Yeah, my one day in my hat. I do that in 15 minutes, but then I'm your friend, Denise. <laughs> you oh, don't, don't make me, like, make me a fake name that day. Because um, I go from, yeah, I, I say I go from, like, red carpet homeless. I don't have a lot of in between. I look like red I'm. Red carpet homeless. Or red, I'm either looking like I'm homeless yes. or I'm on the red carpet. But so for these events, maybe three hours. Um, yeah, that's good. That's so but you have to do it two days in a row. I know this week, two days in a row. That's heavy for me. Mm -hmm. I'm like a once a month kind of. You get what time me. do you have to be there? Seven. Both nights are seven. Okay, one night bad. at the Fairmont, and the other one is in like the Ontario Place grounds, is Saskatchewan Way or something like that. You know where the Ontario Place is, or whatever. That's what it is. Anyhow, that's what I've got going on. The lift one, I'm really excited. Sarah Hanlon. Um, influencer, yep. Big Brother. She's the host of the event, so it'll be fun. I'm really excited for you, man. Um, they asked me if I would like um, steak or halal. Is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I so steak. Okay. You should have said both. <laughs> they say, why do I have to choose? Right? I why just do really, I have to choose? Their attention to detail. There's been a long list of emails. It's pretty funny, actually. They're very like making sure everything's accommodated. Well, that's good. They should. So they should cool. because having your presence there is going to do a lot for the show. Um, Thank you, Lester. Well, I think be. <laughs> listen, lady, I don't care. And uh, most people don't like to toot their own horn, but you do do a lot of damn work. You are working I toot, toot. every day. <laughs> and you should, right? You should. But yo, I didn't want to. I don't want to leave out. Like we got Budsy here. Oh God, Budsy's fast asleep. Budsy's Budsy's with us today. Uh, Is he sleeping? Is we got Budsy? He's so but... comfortable. Let's get a shot of him. Oh, get him up there. There's the little boy. <laughs> 
For all you guys that don't know, we've got Budsy in the, Child in the, in the green protection room. program. You have to be blurred. Right. It's my little emotional support dog. My He's a, a Malshi Shih Tzu Frost. He's 11 weeks old now. And, uh, yeah, he's he's working overtime. Getting Get up me out into of the that, house. Mike. Get up into that, Mikey. Let these he, people know. Budsy. Say hi, Buds. Hello. <laughs> Kindness. <laughs> that's our fan. Yeah, I, I had to let people know he's here. It, yeah, I take him everywhere I go. He's pretty, awesome. Pretty, um, and the last I've had him three weeks, really, there's only been two things he hasn't gone to with me, but he's gone everywhere. And I've called ahead or we've emailed ahead and said she's bringing this stuff. And they're like, no problem, no problem. Mm. So he's a really, he's a good little guy. Well, he's got his social guy. media account, right? Yes, he's Budsy Child. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. And um, a friend that, an ROR, um, it's the Royal Oil. Oil Rob. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they sent me is. a little jacket, a little like capelet for him to wear all winter. Uh, and they personalized. personalized. Okay. This is Budsy Child on you it. You know what, that's big things. Those guys are nice. I yeah, like really cool. Them. Like there's, I don't as an influencer in the space, you get a lot of free stuff. I know people hate hearing that. Oh, she gets those free stuff. Mm. Some stuff that I get really stands out. And that was obviously one of them. I get some really cool things. I got a flag that I really like, cannabis flag. I got yeah. that onesie, raw onesie that I like, yeah. live in. Well, let me tell these guys. Guys, if you're sending back any of the things, <laughs> okay, you better send your sponsorship to the yeah. Green Room. Yeah. Right? Which I wanted to say, Show which is support. super easy. If you're just listening, listening and tuning in, whatever, you, you can slide into my DMs and I'll slide you right over into the Cannabis Wiki DMs where yeah. we can work out. And so you get your commercial out on here. Yeah. And I am, there's a lot going on at, daily and I'm one person really. Um, and I'm a little overwhelmed in space sometimes. So mm -hmm. I haven't, you know, I'm, if I've neglected to respond or whatever, they could also message at cannabis wiki and it's probably a good way to get my attention and get our attention and yeah. get some sponsorships for the show. We'll get and, right back to them. Yeah. I do love going to events. I do love attending things. I like doing speaking engagements and the red carpet stuff's really, really fun. So if there's something I'm missing or something we should be at or. Yeah, definitely. Let us know. Again, guys, sponsor at cannabis.wiki. Phone number is 833-226-9454. Extension 710. What about your everyday life, uh, Andrea? You, but you got to be busy as hell. Go to Ottawa. Yeah, we're going to Ottawa for the cannabis show. Uh, but my day to day, I have three little girls. She's also a nurse. A dog and a cat yeah. and a bunch of fish. Dog and a cat. <laughs> I don't really fish. care about the fish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a minute. She's leaving out. She has chickens. I have chickens. Oh, Jesus. serious? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. We sure. we have uh, some land and. How many chickens you got? Three. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, we Great. we we have Blackie, which is the big white chicken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Come on, get, really step good. into the mic because I don't want to miss any part of this. There, so tell me, let's get let's get back here. So. Okay, so Blackie is our white chicken, the okay. big rooster. Uh, then uh, we have Darlo, which is the mm. big golden girl, really pretty. She's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then we have little. Uh, hey, hey, as we call her. Oh. Tell the story. Uh, so she, her name is Poppy. Poppy number one happened to go missing the same day. I saw a, a fox in her backyard. <laughs> so, oh, damn. I don't know, maybe. Anyways, okay. Poppy has gone on an adventure and didn't come back. Mm -hmm. So then friends of ours are uh, egg farmers. And so they were getting rid of their crop. And I said, well, can I have one? Getting rid of their crop. <laughs> and so they said yes. And I took one. I got to save one's life. But it was okay. missing all these feathers. And they were headed to the Campbell Soup factory. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they can only, so, yeah. They can only give for so long. And then they're not productive anymore. Then they're right. chicken. Then they're so you decided to care for them. So I, so I said, well, wow. of your thousands, wow. may I have one? <laughs> and so they yeah, gave us one. And she was lovely. But she wanted to live inside. She wanted concrete. And she wanted mm -hmm. um, artificial light <laughs> she <laughs> walked around like her feet were sore on the grass like yeah, it's like so weird yeah. for her to step on the lawn she yeah. never walked on grass before what? she lived in a cage with like four other chickens and okay. so now she's free and she's all her feathers have filled in but she's about a third of the size of oh the other she's two. tiny and her, her her beak is a little yeah her beak had been clipped right. they do that so it's harder for her to pick up stuff off the ground so we just help her out and give her her own. Hey, 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 hey. But yeah, my daughter, my daughter gets very mad at me. Her name's on Hey, hey. Actually, I was over there and I'm like, look at Hey, hey. She's like, it's not Hey, yes. hey, Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> so those are our chickens and they're great. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. 
See, I like this. We can have people to the green room that can tell us stuff other than just cannabis. not all, you know, yeah, other than cannabis. We want to know the people behind there. Uh, it's great to have. The, although my the... chickens love cannabis. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I, no, I don't I've give smoked it to a them. few joints <laughs> with the chickens yes. sitting up and, <laughs> and they have, uh, they, when you trim, they'll always walk away with a leaf or two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're like, it was just not big up. Okay. That's my cats play with nugs. I have yeah. like all the nugs all And like, it's not My son's like, did you leave this here? I'm like, those are for the cats. <laughs> they bat them around. Oh, my God. <laughs> I yeah, got a lot of weed. That's fine. So it, don't you think this is fun? We just it's have our, fr- our CEOs and COOs or Yeah, definitely. We're going to have our activists on here. We're going to have scientists on here. That'll be fun. Yeah, I definitely want to talk to these people. Who would you want to have on the show? Like, who would be a really, like, great guest? Don't Ooh. say Tommy Chung. No, no, Okay, no, no. <laughs> Even though he'd be awesome, no offense. <laughs> well, I had the, I got the lucky privilege to uh, do a little interview with Frenchie Cannoli. And, I've met him. Um, the Dank Dusters. You guys heard of Dank Dusters? Do you follow Dank Dusters? No, sorry. She's kind of like Frenchie Cannoli. She's really on the hash thing. So I've uh, been a little intrigued lately about the hash. Uh, I've been smoking it. And I find that I don't cough as much with the hash. I find it a lot more cleaner mm-hmm. than um, some of the things that I have been smoking. So before legalization, I decided to not smoke weed because I figured it was going to be such a hassle. Let's get a bubble hash sponsor so we can make Ooh. our own. Ooh. We'll have like a dryer or whatever okay. the hell it is. It goes, yeah. and the yeah. hash comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How does I'm it like, go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that'd be great, right? Because okay. we, we got you, bud, in here. We're growing weed. Now, yeah. if we can get somebody in here to do some hash, yeah. that would be sick. Hash is, is, is everybody nice. from the eastern side of Canada loves hash. Mm. And I'm, growing up on the west, I didn't, a handful of times, right. I had smoked hash. And then I came to Ontario to live. And I learned what a bottle toke was. Yeah. Uh, my word. <laughs> it changed my life. I was like, I <laughs> spent, knives. I spent, uh, knives. <laughs> so another story about knives. But anyways, uh, um, uh, cheese and crackers. Did I see the it? bottle tokes. Yes. So like spinning the dime around and then cracking it out. Yeah. Like we couldn't return a bottle from that entire camping trip That's because I, I had knocked a hole in every single one. I was so excited. I loved it so much. Um, <laughs> what did the, you hot knives? the hot knives. So I'm, when I was a bartender, I had accidentally hit my lip <clears> with <throat> a with a, a knife. I didn't. Who was serving me did. Mm-hmm. Regardless. Um. So I had the like, straight line and then the this the jagged line, right? right? Yeah. And it was so funny walking up to tables or people come to the bar and like half the people would be like, oh, <laughs> it's your lip, but they know, right? And then other people are like, what happened to your lip? You're like, huh? Aw, <laughs> oh, Muffin, you're so cute. You know, like it was just such a funny thing to, to see. And, and people that you never would have ever thought did knives or are... Like, right. hey, I know what happened to you. Yeah. Now that weed's legal and everyone talks about it, it's funny because I get people message me say, "I wish when you were my neighbor, I had have known right? you guys were so." Oh, yeah. Or um, when you worked for us, I wish I had have known that you're. I'm like, well, I wasn't. Yeah, but right? don't you also find too that like we gravitate to each other? Don't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a and great that's conversation. A, no matter what country or city that. I go to, do you to. see stoner as a negative? Oh, it's perpetuating no, the negative no, stereotype. No, that, no, that's the stigma that's always been pushed on, on everybody. But we and don't have to make the word stoner a negative. No, but it's the people that have to take the responsibility to the people that are smoking. What I find now, just because of legalization, people are, oh, token and, and blowing big clouds like it's some sort of show or some mm-hmm. sort of game. Um, I'm smoking the same way I was smoking before. I don't need to. It's not a front stage. Mm-hmm. I'm it's telling like, you my interrupting. I'm telling you my favorite person boom. before it loses before it leaves me. Boom. Mara Mara Gordon. You know, Weed the People, the yeah. documentary Weed the People. She's the doctor that does Charlotte's Web. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. And she so I don't fangirl over anything ever. There are some pretty big names in I guess the industry or the world, whatever, following me and I don't like mm. screenshot it and then put it up, look who's following me which lots of people do (laughs) as I would be doing that all the time. But when she started following me on Twitter and Instagram, and then under one of my Instagram posts, she's like, I can't wait to to know more about you. And I can't wait to our Uh, past cross personal in person. I freaked out. I screenshot that shit right away. mm. I have like Tay Diggs and all those guys following me. Like I have like hot ass actors that are like, I didn't screenshot that. But right. Mara Gordon, I was like, oh, my God, we need the mm. people. I was super excited about that. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, she would be a great guest. I would no. love to have her on. 
Well, we'll see what the man can do inside. Maybe uh, <laughs> reaching out, right? No, yeah. it'd be a good one because she's be a great. I mean, we did do Ricky Lake. Like we did have an interview with Ricky Lake already. That's very cool. So and I'm, um, I'm jealous. Abby Monto, Green and and uh, Montel Williams. Montel, yeah, yeah I, yeah, saw and that, Montel. I saw that. Abby Green. I'm not Abby Green. Um, I forget what her last name is. Abby. I can't remember. Her co. Or her, yeah. Yeah, the person they did. The, they made her, the, the documentary director. together. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you mean. I think I, they were at O'Cannabis, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, O'Cannabis Influence of the Year over here. I know. Right? <laughs> guys, that is cheeky rude. I never yeah, so do you that. Just too I never. <laughs> you guys need like a sound. Uh, every time I say something, just to throw me back into my poor me. Don't nah. let me have like a... See, that's, that's, that is the beauty of this table. You're allowed to... You're allowed to talk. Here. Oh we want people to talk here. Lester, do you have any awards or trophies or medals? I have no cannabis oh. trophy. Oh, award. it doesn't have any award. Any award. Any award. You got like a best dad mug? Uh, a best dad mug. <laughs> the only awards I have are probably some old Taekwondo awards. That's oh, cool. All right. The only. I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. We're saying goodbye to a yeah. guest. We'll have to have you to the green room. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, guys, um, again, uh, for everybody that's tuning in, jumping on, you want to know how to get your event on the green room. Uh, it is sponsor at cannabis.wiki. Phone number is 833-226-9454. Yeah, it almost slipped my tongue there. Extension 710. You got that right, lady. Well you know how I do? I, I know that extension because I think, did I tell you this before? I have a nasty little bird in my DMs all the time. And mm -hmm. it, it says, I'm not going to say his full thing because I don't want to give him that. Mm -hmm. But 710 something. Mm -hmm. And he sends me whatever. And I don't want to block him because I think he's a fan. I know he's being a <laughs> hater, but why? Why, if you can't stand uh, me, are you following absolutely everything? And you comment every chance you get. Mm -hmm. So he and 710, when it's ever I hear it, it throws me off. What's 710? It's an, area code? Code? it's an area code, yeah. Wait, for mm, where? I'm not sure. I have no idea. Ottawa, I, no? Mm -hmm. I think that's 610. Anyhow. I don't know anyone's phone number. I just hit their name on my phone now. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know anyone's it's, phone it's number. It's terrible. I used to know so many phone numbers. So many in my head all the time. I still do. I still remember them. Do you know your being... high school phone number yep, or your grade absolutely. school? What is it? 5333018. Mine was 33. Oh, three... oh, no. I'm oh, 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 you're old. Time elapsed. <laughs> it's 335. <laughs> Three three five. Oh, frig, I'll remember. Do you remember yours? My old phone. Like number? grown up, like the phone number you had grown up. The uh, one you had to chant in in grade school. Yeah, because it's six six four 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 six zero. Oh, it was only seven right. numbers. Exactly. Me too. Yep. My grandma's. I better not shout it out because it Dated. might still be my grandma's number. But, <laughs> but I remember hers. Grandma Child. <laughs> <laughs> that is my married name. All right. Everyone calls me Julia Childs. Do you think of that sometimes when you're about to say my name? No. no. <laughs> no. 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 Okay, no. it's just them. No. Them. That's right. So exclusively. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. She was a hoot. <laughs> she was a hoot. For sure. Do you know who we mean? Julia Child? No. He doesn't even no. know. See, I love that. That's why we're good sidekicks. I think so. Because you're just in a whole different thing. I could have me. you ladies at the table all day. Every day. <laughs> Of course you could. I could. Andrea, <laughs> Andrea takes care of me when uh, growing with you, but I love it. Um, I get to ask questions and I don't feel awkward. That's, that's good. And that's what they, that's their service. That's what she supplies with their, mm -hmm. when you get a grow from them. I love it. I end up with questions and I was like, huh, I never thought about that. That's a great question. Because mm -hmm. it, it. Well, I did. I almost, great. I almost put a um, bottle of water from the fridge in it. Because normally if I'm thinking water, the first thing I'm grabbing is a bottle of water. I'm like, oh shit, the, my puck needs some water. And I grabbed a bottle of water out of the fridge and then I was like, oh shit, the shit is cold in my hand. I'm like, ah, maybe not. Mm -hmm. So I just grabbed some tap water, lukewarm. Good yeah. instinct. Changed it up. Good instinct. Did we get that name for the CEO of Lyft? Jeez Louise, I got him pictured. He's got curly hair. He's a tall, skinny guy. Cute. I don't know. He I, is cute. I don't know if we get that. What's his name? If we Derek. don't get it now, if we don't get it now, we'll get it after. We'll, we'll get it add after. it. We'll add it. <laughs> <laughs> Should sure. I have subtitles? No, because it's a big, it's a big thing, and um, yeah. Lyft, Lyft is always a good show. We uh, had a very good time at Lyft. So wait, he's got two nights <laughs> red carpet too, because he's going to be at City Moguls on Thursday, and then he's going to be at Lyft on Friday. I bet you your feet will hurt more. No. <laughs> that's no. my least favorite part of all of that mine shoes. too have you like, seen I love my it. friends I love hot feet? shoes so much hot I have shoes are so nice hot shoes. yeah dude you do <laughs> I have 400 uh, pairs but oh, oh they're okay. painful 
I do. Women's shoes are Women's not shoes kind. Are nice. they're oh, just... they're super nice. <laughs> really nice. I it's, like it's shoes. a battle that you guys have to go through. Yes, it's worth it. Most times. If I don't Sometimes. wear high heels, I'm more of a slug. Like, if I walk into a room where there might be someone there that's trying to throw some shade or trying to intimidate or whatever, and I'm not in high heels, I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but if I have high heels on and I'm walking like a chicken, I'm like, I got this. <laughs> See, I feel, I feel more comfortable Insight. not in, in heels. Well, I feel so, like if I got to so kick your ass, I I got to run or I got to throw a leg, <laughs> I get much better solid ground. But if I'm trying to like be someone, yeah. <laughs> the, I don't wig, know. the wig you feel, you the feel shoes. better elevated. Yeah, ex- yeah, a like bit it. of elevation. A wig and a, some shoes. A wig. Yeah. Aren't they really hot? They're really oh. hot. Throw menopause to that mix. Oh. Woo! You are a hot mess. Does oh, it get man. wet like real hair? Yeah, it gets yeah. wet. Yeah, it gets wet yeah. and curly. Not my fake ones. I wear a lot of plasticky ones too. Like that when I travel, like if I'm in mm-hmm. Jamaica, Mexico, I always take the synthetic. They breathe because mm. then everyone's like. Oh, your hair looks so good. I'm like, it's... yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't, yeah, because yeah, it's plastic. It doesn't get the crazy. So, Andrea, yes. what else <laughs> you got plastic. coming up in the future? Um, well, let's get some plugs out for you. Uh, yeah, we're heading to Ottawa uh, November 20th, 23rd, 24th. 3rd and 4th. Okay. Yes, we're going to the cannabis show out there. Expo. Cannabis Expo. Cannabis Expo. My apologies. Ottawa. Okay. Yeah, so we're actually putting up a booth there, and we, um, we're growing with a veteran out there as well so we're gonna mm. go check in on that one um and not a veteran grower no a veteran yes <laughs> yeah, war yeah. Veteran. Yeah. yeah well I, I, yes how yes. far along is that growth has it started no nope, he's in he's flowering okay he's, or sorry yes he's flower in flower in flower in flower so, it's so like how a far is that time. uh we're on the second half of its life okay yes so it's good. It's I'm on the second see. half of my life too. <laughs> I'm 46. Who lives to what is that? 90. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Wait, you wait. Know. 46 and 46 is 92. You got yes. it. Bam. Not a lot of people live to 92, love even with you... cannabis. Right. Well, we should find it. It, it may be different with cannabis, with everybody being that much more relaxed, less stressed. So you guys you know can what progress the... my or record my growth. The too. latest, mm. the latest trend in. Uh, long-term care right. is for a group of friends to get together and buy a home collectively mm. and staff it and that's their home that's now their nursing home that's where you will oh, go wow. to live out your days that's with so your fun. friends that's fun and then you would like come and go right like as, right. as I'm like it the goes. grouchy old person though but Nobody's you know what like so <laughs> we could we could choose the best nurses we would all be right. listening to good music getting high being there for each other you're not, you're not yeah. left lonely parked in front Ramoli. of something right in front of Ramoli. With strangers and and yeah. even if we all like like you know end up with dementia and can't remember who we each other are we're all good looking yeah. <laughs> right you'd be Agreed. like well that's a nice face to look at for the rest of my life i'm in you have know? my friend change my ass instead of someone else <laughs> i would change it for you my mom yeah. you see that you see i have changed many <laughs> no, of all ages that is a that is a, a nice concept uh, i've never thought about i think something it's like so that. that's, great that's I, awesome. I i just think that there's a, a loneliness uh that is associated with living out your days Definitely. in the in nursing home surrounding life should strangers. be like benjamin button oh, you start God. out old and work your way to imagine having the, the stamina shit. physique uh as a 20 year old but with the knowledge of a 70 year old oh my god oh, that's good. like one of my Lord, biggest love a duck. i would build houses love a duck. <laughs> it would be amazing all oh, the things i would get done Jeez, oh, you know and i mean i wasted all those good years oh, having all that boy. fun so good yay hooray but me too Waste. you know i could have accomplished so much there you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> those, are those are my advice to all those you know young people out there I love it do something guys this is the green room this is <laughs> the green room right thanks for coming andrew so, You're welcome. Thank yes you definitely me. thank you for coming to our table we uh always love talking with you guys oh, at you bud um you definitely take care of me on the show um guys are going to be in ottawa you want to go check out their booth you bud coo andrea thanks guys and i'm there with andrea well i'm not there with the expo i'm just Showing with Andrea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, do you see that? There's a, du- there's a double bang for your buck. The North American Cannabis Flower is going to be in Ottawa also. Supporting I'll be germinating you, bud. some seeds. Right? Oh. So it's going to be awesome. Squirt, squirt. So, my dear, we'll see you 
Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks okay. for coming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what are we saying? We're here. That was fun. Yeah. And I'm glad she came to the green room. Me too. I and I'm excited to chat next week about what happened uh, Thursday and Friday on my red carpet. Yeah. <laughs> I am so excited, man. I am. It's going to be so crazy, especially with lifting. Yeah. It, right? I'm. This whole thing is really cool. It, I'm really, I am excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I think they're trying to do right by you, right? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to be invited to that table. So, and I think it's a great opportunity, and it's a great opportunity to spread green room word. <laughs> Definitely, because the green room is going to be on your laptop, your iPhone. Just check it out. iTunes, Android, Spotify, and YouTube. You got that. You heard. See you next week, guys. All right, guys. Take it easy. From the green room. North American Cannabis Flower, Lester for Cannabis Wiki. See you soon.